Okay, hey you guys. Oh man, I should start this like a normal YouTuber. Oh, but whatever. I'm not wearing pants. My neighbor can totally see me. Awkward. Okay. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Rachel. If this is the first video that you're watching of mine. Um, today's video, I'm going to tell you guys about Anki. A lot of you guys have been asking because I have shown it in some of my previous videos of my study routine or updated study routine. I will link those uh, videos down below if you're interested. But I have been incorporating Anki into my study routine and it's actually been working. Granted, I actually don't know that much about Anki. This is a disclaimer for this entire video. This is not the golden standard video. I have a lot of golden, non-golden standard disclaimers in my videos, I've noticed. But there are so many more people that are more knowledgeable about Anki than myself. Uh, this is just a video if you really like are having trouble understanding what Anki is or just want a very general and dumbed down version of Anki and how to use it and just like do the basics but enough to actually benefit from using Anki, then you're in the right spot. Today's video, sorry, I just got back from anatomy. I was dissecting the leg. Woohoo! I popped the knee, oh, felt synovial fluid. Oh my God, that's besides the point. Today's video, gonna show you about Anki. Let's go. Anki is space repetition learning. You will hear that so much when people explain Anki to you. For example, you just made a flashcard on Anki. It'll show you that flashcard that you just made it and then it'll show it to you again in like a few minutes. And if you get it right both times, you won't see that card until the next day. And then if you get it right, when you see the card the next day, when you do your cards, it'll be like, all right, great. Like she learned it up until today. I feel like she's gonna forget this card in four days. Let me show it to her in four days. If I get it right, then it'll Anki will be like, okay, like let me show her it in another six days or 10 days. And then all of a sudden, like if you keep getting that card right, that means you're learning that fact and it will space out how often you get the card. But say for example, in two months, it shows me that card again and I get it wrong, it's gonna be like, okay, that's okay, you obviously forgot the fact, so I will show you it again tomorrow. And then it starts that spacing out over again. Let me just give you a rundown on how I'm able to have it on here, on here, and on my phone. There's an Anki app. For phones, if you're having it on a desktop, you it's free. Just go Google Anki, download 2.1. If you choose to put it on multiple devices, you will need to make an account through AnkiWeb.net. You end up uploading your decks to the web technically, and then you're able to sync from different devices. That just makes sure it saves your current your activity and any um, updates that you've made. They will go across. I do make cards with my lectures and I'll have the lecture up and I will make cards at the same time. But you can also download pre-made decks from the internet. There's like Zonky, Lightyear. I don't honestly know, so don't ask me about pre-made decks. I'm just gonna give you a rundown about how to kind of maneuver through Anki. I'm gonna do a screen recording because I'm cool like that. Okay, so we're gonna get heat map and this is an add-on I like to use just because it's kind of motivational and you can see your progress. So just go ahead and go to Anki get the code for the heat map and we're going to paste it into Anki. So you'll go to tools, add-ons, get add-on, and then paste that code in that box. Then we're gonna restart Anki and have this beautiful heat map. So now I'm gonna just show you a tutorial of how to make a deck, how to make a card, and the settings that I use, okay? The way that I separate things is like we have our blocks. So right now we're in FOM1. So I separate each week into a card deck. And then from there, I will separate even further into more subdivisions of each specific lecture. And so it's really, it's a really nice way to stay organized. It's a nice way. So when you're studying for a quiz or the final, you have all your weeks right there. What a great transition. Okay, now I wanna show you how to create a deck. So we're gonna create deck. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna title it YouTube video. And it's gonna show up right here. We're gonna hit that and it's gonna say that we've finished this deck and that's because there's no cards in it. So we're gonna click add. And when you first start using Anki or when you first download it, you're gonna go to the type of card and you will start off with basic, which is just your classic front and back flashcard. When I first started Anki, I was using this. However, now I've moved on to closed deletion because I really like it. I'm using this one, don't ask me why, I don't really know, this is just the one that I'm currently using. So I'm gonna choose that to make this specific type of card. 
So now I'm typing in what I want to have on the card and it can be in the form of a question, in the form of a fill in the blank or just a straight fact and you're gonna have the answer up there. Then you're gonna hit Command Shift C and it's gonna bring up these brackets. And whatever you put inside the brackets is going to be your answer. And since I like to do the cards with my lectures, I like to screenshot the exact PowerPoint that I got this card from or the prompt from and the answer from. So I just screenshot it and then I drag it into the extra box on my Anki card. And then it won't show me the PowerPoint slide in this extra box or any information in the extra box until I've allowed Anki to show me the answer to my card. So after you add the card to your deck, you're going to hit history and I wanna show you the card that we just made. And you can do this if you want to preview cards and see how they end up looking. So we have it right here. And then we're going to just hit preview. And then voila, there is our card. So now I want to show you the other type of card that I make. And it's called image occlusion. So you're going to do the same thing where you're going to download the add-on, get the code, put it in the box. And now you have this nice little image icon in your card. So you'll upload whatever image that you want to test yourself on and maybe it is anatomy and you're gonna test yourself on the parts of the bones. And by selecting this little box, you're able to block out that text or whatever it is. And that will now be a flashcard for you and you will have to know the answer to whatever is underneath that box. And what I like about this is that you can actually use this same image and block out multiple things at one time and you're actually making multiple cards at once. And so what I like to do is that I block out multiple and then I do hide all but guess one. And then I'm only being tested on one box at a time. So now that we've made a little deck of three cards, let's go through it. So we're gonna hit study now. So hmm, what's the answer to this one? So I'm gonna show the answer and I knew it so I'm gonna hit good and it's gonna end up showing me that card one more time for today just to solidify it. For this one, I'm gonna guess what's underneath this pink box. And let's say I thought this one was really easy and I would know it if you asked me it in 10 years. Then for example, say this card is particularly hard for me and I didn't get the answer. I'm gonna hit again so it can show me it within a minute and then hopefully solidify it that round and then we can move forward. And then that's it. So you've gone through this deck. You will see these new cards tomorrow. And then if you get those right, you'll see them in a few days. And if you get those right, it'll space it out even further. So as you can see for today, I had 406 do cards. And that's pretty standard. As you start doing more decks and more cards, that number will build up. And that's just what you have to do every day. But that's about it. So that's about it. I hope you guys learned a thing or two about Anki because that is literally the extent of my knowledge about Anki. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys next time and take care of yourself. Be kind to yourself. Keep working hard. You know, the drill. All right, see you guys next time. Bye.